Hey guys, so this is my altar. It's a little dark. There's no light in the room, but I have a candle going. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so here I have my earth, air, spirit, water, fire. I have a candle going just because I smudged some sage earlier. Um, I have some rocks to go with my earth. A dollar to go with the air pen for writing, my little incense, offering bowl for the god, offering bowl for the goddess. I got both of those at a flea market for like 10 bucks, um, Athame. And because I'm a Pisces, I don't know if you can see it, I have two pieces of jewelry that are amethyst to go with my water sign, the candle holders. Or tall candles, god representation, goddess, chalice, uh, some sage and a holder for it, and white candles for rituals, and then this bowl with some black sand, which is what I put my sage and my incense out in with, a little bag of crystals, I'll pull those out in a minute, and I have this little guy I got for a 10 cents at a flea market. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but everything here I pretty much got at the Dollar Tree or Walmart. All my candles I got at the Dollar Tree except for the one that's burning. I got that for Christmas a few years ago. But this is my very first altar setup. Everything that I initially bought, it cost me about $30 to make. Oh, and these little candle holders I got at the flea market for five dollars. Um, oh, and I have a little container right here with some sage and pink Himalayan salt that's charged for protection. Um, silver chain is there for offerings when I need it. Um, incense. <clears throat> and then I don't have everything set up because we are going to be setting this room up for my witchy stuff. Oop, I think I just saw an orb. Anyways. Um, so up here I have some storage. I have some thunder water that I collected on New Year's Eve. Um, a little bag with some acorns and walnuts. And then a bag where with some uh, quartz crystal in it that I dug out in my yard. Uh, lilac candle and then um, these were left over from Solwyn for the god and the goddess um, I got those at Dollar Tree the De La Morte candles Day of the Dead um, because I just got this moved over from my mom's house and I cleansed everything tonight I cleansed the room yeah so you can see it's kind of a disorganized mess at the moment have my chamomile tea chilling. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. Don't know if that's dust or what. Oh, it's dust. Vents right there. All right, in a minute, I will be doing the witchy haul. I have a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, just give me a minute and I will be getting to that. Hey guys, uh, marry me, blessed be. I have my chamomile tea here. Uh, sorry, I look like crap. I have my pajamas on. Um, so this is my first ever YouTube video. I've been meaning to do one for months. Um, because I have a lot of stuff to go through for the whole part of the video. Um, hope you like the altar. This isn't something to let people know what to do just because I'm new on my path. I've only been doing it for about six months continually. I was interested in paganism, Wicca, witchcraft, uh, what have you, um, when I was younger, like 13, 14. Um, 
I'm still in the broom closet with some of my family just because they some they might not get it and I don't want to rock the boat just yet so to speak um, sorry I have some Disney playing in the background um, just some background noise my fiance sleeping so I don't want to wake him up um, so let's get into this haul um, I don't know how long it's gonna be hopefully you stick around like what you see um, if you can give me any pointers oh I forgot to mention in the altar part of this video my altar is pointing almost directly north um, because where north actually is in the room is where the door is so that's not really gonna work so let's see. Uh, first part of the haul video are this bag of rocks or crystals I got them at Dollywood um, I actually keep them by my bed um, that's where they're gonna go after the video because this one I don't know if you can see it I forget what it is but I use this when I sleep um, there's this one Rose quartz. It's kind of like a bluish, brownish gray color. Um, this little guy. A little purple, amethysty color. Another blue rock. Another blue, it's got some white and some other colors in it. Two more. This fuchsia looking rock. Uh, another blue one. A uh, pink one. Yeah, so this was one of the things where they had tumbled rocks and um, they had these little pouches and it was pretty much, you could get as many as you want as long as it fit into the bag for like $5.99 I think. Um, not bad considering that some places around here want a lot of money per gram for a rock like this. So that was a pretty good deal. This is going to go back this on my bed um, so I can have my sleeping rock. Uh, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Alright. Okay. So first thing is, um, I got this from a metaphysical shop near me. Some loose lavender flower. I think it was Eight dollars is not really good. See, I have some stuff in here that's not so witchy. Um, full moon and scents cones. I know it's kind of backwards. Sorry. Uh, black sand I got from Dollar Tree. It's the same stuff that's on my altar. A blue sage bundle I got at the flea market for like three or four bucks. Um, some money that I have that actually got washed in the washing machine, so it's clean. Um, I figure I can use it for some money skills later. Oh, let's see what happened in the Dollar Tree bag. Oh, this was actually when um, I went ghost hunting and I got some stuff when I did my first spell as a protection spell. I think they're very, very well. Some rubbed sage. Uh, pink Himalayan salt. All this is from Walmart. Oh, a little mixing bowl. Some matches. light candle that I burned for protection. I carved rooms into it. 
Probably should get rid of it. Some more tea light candles and I have some mattress. I don't really think you want to see those. That is it for this little box. I need to get some type of organization system set up, but we just moved in here a month ago, so I don't have anything set up yet. Pimple mention. Oh, these are two things that I got last week. Um, a book, it's called A Little Bit of Wicca. I got it for 10 bucks at the metaphysical shop near me. It's pretty good. It's um, being in her book. It's pretty straightforward. Not a lot of mumbo jumbo to get through. It just has a lot of the basics. Um, my room set. I got this at Books a Million. It was $30. I didn't feel like waiting for Amazon. I have a spell book and tarot cards that got delivered today to my mom's house on accident. So I have to go get those tomorrow. But this has a book in it and it has a wooden room set. A little expensive, but then again, I didn't want to wait for it. So, yep. I'll have to show you the tarot cards and the spell book once I get that. Came with me over. Oh, and I did get this. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Celtic horse goddess. The symbol for Epona. Um, I got it at the metaphysical shop. It was like $25, but I don't know. I like it. Horses are one of my spirit animals, so. Alright, let's get into the big box. I think this is actually the stuff that I got at Goodwill today. Okay. So, I got this little bag. $3.99. There's like a bowl and a little cat. And, um, some little signs for the house. I got it mainly for the cat and the bowl because the bowl is like a clay thing. I can use it. Um, another little offering bowl. I got, I need to clean a lot of this stuff. It was 99 cents. I don't think it's real silver, but it's like a tin or aluminum. <clears throat> this could be um, an offering bowl. I wouldn't drink out of it. It's a little tarnished. Um, I think this might be a silver plated type of metal. This was also 99 cents. A little squirrel with an acorn, you can put stuff in it. Um, I might use this later on my altar for something offering or spell, whatever I use the acorns for. But it's really cute. $2.99, it's heavy. It's like a cast iron or something. Okay. Found this little guy. $1.49, it's a little glass pyramid. It looks like it has something in the bottom, like where you would put a tea light. I don't know if I would put a tea light under this. I think it's cleaned up. Maybe I might put like a crystal under it or something. Charge it. But it's actually really cool. Sorry about that. Um, I accidentally hit my stand and I'm not restarting the video. Okay. And then I got this bag for $1.99, but it was 50% off. I mostly got it for this, some type of African totem. Not really sure if anybody recognizes this and can comment, let me know. Another goodwill bag. I don't know what's in here. Oh, 
Um, oh, this I did not get from Goodwill. I got this for Christmas last year, the year before. I just didn't know what to do with it. Or no, I got this for my birthday last year. It's a little blown glass hummingbird. Might do something with it, hang it up, not really sure. It's really pretty. Oh, this is the stuff I got from an antique store. A little Anubis ornament. Um, part of his little ear is broken off. I don't know. It looks like his leg might have got broken too. Uh, he was like two or three dollars. But, and the leg, even though it's broken, it's probably because I put something heavy on it on accident. Um, I'll find a spot for him. Probably put him on my altar. It's really cute. I can't just leave him. A little perfect imperfect. <clears throat> and then this is my little Eskimo girl that I got at the flea market. She was $10. like a little potpourri bag in it. I guess that's a potpourri holder. As you can see, I got it at Goodwill for $1.99. This was supposed to go on the altar for Yule, but I kind of missed that because we moved right before Yule started, so. Oh, my little bell. I got it, Goodwill. Oh, in this little bag I got for $1.99, it has a little bear made out of like obsidian or something like that. I got the bag mostly for him. And that there's this like little Santa Claus looking uh, knife thing that I thought maybe I could use for an athame for y'all. And then there's a Jesus statue in here. I'm going to give this to my aunt. Um, because she's really Catholic, so she'll like it. <clears throat> and then this is a Trail of Tears horse that I got. Um, I'm part Native American. A horse is one of my spirit animals. I'm going to paint it and set it somewhere in the room um, because this is also going to be in my office. But. It's one of those things where you paint it, but I got it for a couple of dollars, so. I still have more, so bear with me. I have my little Anubis setting by my computer. <sighs> Okay, this might seem a little weird, but this is potpourri that I got at Walmart. <clears throat> it was $5, but that is because it has real things in it. Um, it's got some flowers, some roses. Um, I figured I could use pieces of this for spells instead of buying all the ingredients individually. I also have this one. It has some cinnamon in it, some walnuts, um, some other things that I need to figure out what they are. 
Um, but again, like I said, little ingredients for spells. Um, more for burning than anything. <clears throat> just, just right there. Some more incense sticks. Myrrh and frankincense. I don't really like I don't really like these. Um just because it smells more like wood burning than the actual smell. Um because I think myrrh is what I have on my altar right now. So I got these from Walmart. If anybody wants them, comment below and I can send you a message, maybe send these to you. I don't really like them. I'm going to find a different brand. But again, frankincense, myrrh. And then just a little rock bracelet it's for protection. It's got real stones and stuff on it. And then just a bracelet that my mom got for me. A little pine tree candle. I got a Dollar General today on um, clearance for like a buck. Um, might use it for real next year. Save it. Not sure. Could put it down for my Earth symbol if I decide to change. thing for my kitchen that's not witchy. Um, three packs of seashells, a dollar each. They're real seashells. Um, I figure I can use them on my altar for spells, uh, crushing them. And ooh, look, that one actually has a real pretty spirally one. Um, yeah. So, not a bad deal. Oh, right, maybe I should change my name to the Dollar Store Witch. Try Quetra in it. Um, it's got a little saying on the back. It is Christian, but I like it. $1.99. Goodwill. <sighs> Last thing from this bag. This is a handmade canteen. It's got real cow hair on it, real leather. It's handmade. There's no like made in China or anything on it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Nordic. It's got this little thing. And I got it at Goodwill for $10. Like, this was actually really good. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got green and red. 
Again, I was I was gonna use this for Yule, but it's a little too late, so this is gonna have to go up in the closet or on a shelf. Okay, that's it for that bag. Not too much more. Oh, my little FFA thing from when I was in high school. Mm. Bottles with corks from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use them for spell bottles at some point when I actually feel comfortable in them. Um, just doing spells, but, and they're also just cool looking. I don't know. And this guy was actually on my altar at my mom's, but mainly to set my spirit candle up, um, to keep it away from the curtains because I had it up against the window. Um, but it's got a little storage. This thing moves. I got him at Goodwill, cleaned him up, but I love the fox. Foxes are one of my spirit animals. Let me try to get... This at Walmart. See the little candles? You can use them for spells. They're birthday candles. Um, I heard these work really great, so I got them. They were like two bucks or something like that. I don't know. Not really expensive. And then I got these at Dollar Tree. Just some more. They're 60 in here. This one's a little bit of a better deal. The candles might not be that great, but I don't know. I especially like the green for money spells. Um, pink for love and yellow and blue I can use those for other things not really sure yet uh, this I got more from my altar I got it at Dollar Tree it comes in a little cork bottle it's a bunch of seashells um, I figure if I decide to change my altar and actually have items representing stuff instead of the colors with the candles in them I can use this. Very inexpensive. And I also got this stuff at Dollar Tree and I don't know what raffia is, um, but I figure I could use it for spells. I have to google what it is or if anybody knows what raffia can be used for. Um, maybe bindings. Binding spells because um, it's kind of like a twine. I don't really know if I want to burn it just because it is made in China, um, but maybe I can use it for binding stuff, maybe if I get into hoodoo or whatnot, but I saw it and I was like, ooh, I can use that in spells, so I got it. Again, Dollar Tree. I also go to Gates a lot. Um, I have two near me. I got these four green votive candles. I got them for Yule, but I can also use them for money spells. Um, for any good luck. On it, this one got a chip, so maybe I might not use that for a spell. I might, <coughs> sorry. I might just use it for something, but these are all 99 cents a piece, and I actually think I got them for 50% off. Here's a Okay, this last girl bag is really heavy. I think I have stuff, like a couple of bags in here. Oh, okay, so I got this was supposed to be for Solomon, but I completely forgot that I had it. It's gonna have to be. Next year. 
but it's this pretty little autumn vase with two different owls. Um, and I thought it was really cool. Um, it's got like a cracked glass, but I forget how much it was. It was only a couple of dollars. I got it at Goodwill, but I liked it because the owls, they seem to represent the masculine and the feminine. Fem feminine. I can't talk right sometimes. <sighs> but pretty neat. I like it. It's going to go in storage for next year. This other thing is just a plate. It's not witchy. I just got it for the house for the curio cabinet. Alright, so this was $1.49 at Goodwill. It is real sterling silver. It's got a stamp at the bottom, but a little chalice. This one I might actually use if I can get it cleaned up. If not, um, I can use it as an offering, put some wine in it um, for rituals. It looks like it has some grapes on it. Um, so I might use this during Austera or the summer solstice. Oh. little bag I got for $2.99. It's got some plates, silver um, offering bowls. Use them to set crystals on. Need to clean it up. Another little thing, I got this for $2.99 at Goodwill. It's got votives in it, it's got tea lights, but I got it because it has um, like this little adobe looking Native American candle in it. I figure I can use it when I start getting more into that kind of magic. Um, but again, like these little votives, they've never been used. There's different colors. There's like a green color, again, money spells, blue color, um, there's a yellow. Um, there's this one that comes in a little muslin bag. There's red. Again, just all these candles, they've never been used. And then finally, um, when I got this the other day, I got. I am so bad today. I got this. I can't. I got this little guy at the metaphysical shop. It's a little stone horse. I think it was like four dollars. But he's really cool. He actually has a lot of detail. But um, it's a little spirit horse. It comes with the little card that tells you about him. Um, I'm going to put him on my altar along with my little Anubis. He's already cleansed and charged, so he is all good to go. Oh, and then the little box that my necklace came in. Um, I guess I can read the card. Um, it just talks about the horse being associated with many Celtic deities. As an emblem that Epona and Maka are Celtic horse goddesses who watch over the land, um, protecting its abundance and ensuring a good harvest. 
So I guess if anybody needs a deity for um, for harvest time, that Epona or Maka could be good deities to choose. Um, and they are goddesses. Uh, they're the goddesses of the stable. Um, they protect all who work with horses. Um, they are the goddesses of maternity, prophecy, and prosperity. They guide and protect mortals on their journey through life. So that's really good. Um, and the horses for sovereignty and guidance. Which again, I really, really love because I am a horse person. Um, they're my spirit animal. I have horses. Um, one of my familiars is one of my horses. So, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for any mistakes. Um, like me dropping stuff. I'm a little nervous. Um, I'm not going to go and redo this whole video. So I hope that you can hear me if there's anything else um, anything you want to comment again those incense sticks if you want them let me know I will mail them to you I do not like them at all um, I want to go back to the metaphysical shop this week and I want to get some of the natural incense sticks that actually smell like incense but I know some people like the ones from Walmart they don't bother me um, but I also need to get some lavender sage bundles um, because I brought white sage tonight and it smelled, it smelled like I was burning down the whole house. Um, but again, bless it be. Have a good night. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and whatever else YouTubers say. Um, I'll get this down. So, thank you.